Hello, Jesper and the rest of the Umbraco community. Okay, so I've had my coffee and I want to show off um, this 87RC in the block editor. Um, it's going to be a super rough demo, but um, let's start creating a doc type. Home. Um, home. Let's, we've all seen this stuff before, but content. And then we're going to create uh, blocks. Whatever we want to call it, uh, block list. Uh, that was my one from earlier, but we'll create a new one. And from here, I can still use the infinite editing workflow. I haven't created any element types or blocks, um, so I can keep on going down the chain. Um, this is going to be my I don't know, header thing. Header for a page. And then, I don't know, well, one ball, I mean. Yeah, cool. And then uh, we'll add some content. Um, we'll have like a title. Uh, that's going to be a text string. Uh, I'm going to make it mandatory. Yeah. Um, what else are we going to do? Um, let's just be lazy for now and I just have a rich text that is a rich text. Yeah, I can configure it, but for now I am happy. Submit, submit, submit. Cool. Um, save and close. Okay, so now I have my block. Um, so what I can do next is click on it and we can configure the block itself. Um, so like nested content, we can use a label if you're not going to use a custom view. So you could use like an, uh, I can't remember what we just added. Was it title? I can't remember, but you, you get the idea. Same as like nested content um, or stack content, you can have like a, a label for all the uh, list of blocks. Uh, but I want to show off custom view. So I have one what I created here earlier. I will show you the source code for it in a second. So I've selected it and then I'm going to use the same style sheet as the style sheet that is going to be used on my front end and what we've done or what me or not me uh niels my colleague uh niels U, uh um has done has created a component in the Embraco back office that means that we get scoped css um so if you have very generic uh, css selectors say just a h1 it's not going to leak out and break the entire Embraco back office anyway uh, i've selected that um, I've got a header, I've got some a view, a CSS, um, I've got some, I don't know, uh, background hexes that I can copy over, we can have that one, and we can have that one. Um, I could pick a thumbnail or an image, um, so it's this, this section here, the catalogue appearance, is kind of styling this block over here. So for now I'm just going to change the background colour and the icon colour. If I wanted, I could use uh, an image if you wanted to represent your block more visually. Um, anyway, uh, then what else am I going to do? I am going to create, we're going to keep going down the infinite editor chain. We're going to keep going further down the list. And we're going to, I don't know, headers, settings, and I don't know, let's give it a cog or something. Is it cog? Settings. There we go. And uh, I don't know, we'll just give it settings and we'll call this one theme. And I think I created this one earlier, so it's a drop down. Um, I'm going to show the configuration that has two values dark and light. Um, so we can save that, submit that, um, head to settings, duh, 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 save and close that, and then submit that. Okay, so we've got a nice, uh, prettier, uh, maybe these more on-brand colors or something for my site. Um, I then want to turn on inline, uh, not inline, sorry, uh, live editing mode. Um, so I will show you why in a second. So submit, submit, save. Um... Let's go and create a piece of content then. Let's go back to settings. I forgot to make the home doc type uh, one that is allowed to be made at the root. 
go back and create. And I'm going to create a home that has some blocks in it. I can see my nice uh, uh, block card. Uh, again, it could be on brand. They could be different colors. I don't know but to help group them. Um, or you could have like an image uh, that helps represent what a, a block may look like on the site. Anyway, click it. And then as I type, hello world, um, you can obviously I get um, live editing or live preview. I can copy in some lipsum and I don't know, let's give this please. Build and uh, I don't think I've got any images, so we'll just leave it at that for now. Um, and then if I go to the settings, uh, so I want to kind of tweak maybe how the how my block looks. Uh, I have three values, so to speak, uh, an empty or nothing set. Then I can set it to dark. Okay, it looks like that. Or light, which uh, looks like that. Uh, for now, I'm going to set it to dark. Confirm and save and publish. Right. So let's take a look at uh, the code. So for this block, it's super simple. So this is just an, an Angular HTML view, uh, similar to like property editors. Um, the only kind of magic uh, I, I would say really is this. Uh, so anytime I click on my block or anywhere in my block, um, we have this API and this API uh, in all blocks uh, has a function called edit block. Um, basically, this is a bit of a copy paste job for now. Um, use this and this will then open the infinite editor or slide it out on the right so that you can update your data. Um, then this is just Angular binding, so nothing that interesting. So the block has data and in the data, I have my property uh, or the property alias. So this is was title uh, and then uh, same for rich text. And then for the uh, kind of the styling, I was changing um, a CSS class depending on what theme was picked. So rather than block.data, it's block.settings data and then the property alias, in this case theme, um, the drop down uh, list thing, uh, property editor, uh, returns an array. So hence there's a, like select the first item in the array. Um, if it's obviously dark, then set the background by BG dark. Uh, if it's uh, light, obviously set it to BG light. Um, we could obviously have things like an ng controller, um, which is fine. Um, if you do, then you will need to add a package manifest JSON file like you would for a property editor. In there, there is the JavaScript array and then just add the JavaScript um, file in that JavaScript files array. Um, so when the back office loads, it will load in your JavaScript for your blocks. Um, so that's that. Um, and then I suppose I could show one last thing. Um, so you could see that I've got this nice I got this, I don't know, Google font. Um, yeah. Uh, and you can see that my CSS, which is uh, so wonderful because I'm such a designer. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a CSS import to Google fonts. I'm setting the entire body to be the Google font. And then any H1 on the page to be uh, 900. And obviously, yeah, these BG dark and BG light was obviously what swapping how it looks and this is the exact same CSS I'm going to decide to use on my front end. Um, like I said before it's all scoped so previously if you've done something like this maybe with the rich text editor and picked uh, a CSS file you would have had to create a very specific uh, rich text uh, editor CSS file and with very specific CSS selectors because if you've done things like this it wouldn't change the entire uh, Morocco back office. So yeah. Uh, that's all my ramblings for now. Enjoy, have fun, have fun creating block editors and give us feedback um, so we can make it better for the release. Cheers. Bye.